Kids are going back to school, it's time to get back into routine and if you have let your Pilates go during the summer, this is the session to get you back into it nice and slowly. Hi, I'm Louise from Studio 44 Pilates. Let's get on with this 10 minute back to Pilates session. So we're going to start in our neutral position. We're going to make sure that the collarbone is nice and open and we're going to take our legs up one at a time, just a tabletop. Maintaining that connection in that centre and just bringing the legs up bent. Now if you haven't done any for a while, I would keep your legs like this. You can keep your head down or you can curl up, up to you. Lengthen the arms, you're going to breathe in for five, breathe out for five. Try and maintain that neutral, keep those armpits lowered and really focus on your breathing. Brilliant, good. Again, you don't have to have your head up, it's entirely up to you. And so just focus. So this is a fantastic exercise to get the mind and body ready for what you're about to do in the next 10 minutes. And doing it at this level just focuses on your technique if you haven't done any for a while. It's not a bad thing to go back to the basics. So as I'm a Pilates teacher, I don't tend to count. So <laughs> I let my clients do it in class. So let's do two more lots. Breathe in for five and breathe out. Good, and another lot. And out. Brilliant. Bring your head down. Take your legs down one at a time. Just check that neutral again. Make sure you've got it. We're going to take that leg up in the air and we're going to do one leg circle. So nice big circle to get a really nice movement in that hip joint. Again, you've probably done lots of movement during the summer, just not your Pilates. Let's do one more. Okay. And change direction. So if this is your first time back for about six to eight weeks, take it slowly. Think about the technique. Let's do two more. Keep the collarbone nice and open, working through that centre. Last one. And I just want you to hold that leg up and pull it towards you, because how much have you stretched? If you've got a band, grab it and pull it towards you, so that's a really nice stretch at the back of the leg. One thing that we forget. Good. Relax that down. Take the other leg up in the air. We're going to circle. Nice big circles, really working through that centre, but let the pelvis move. Good. And then change direction. Someone will put in a comment below that I have not done enough circles and I apologise. Brilliant. Good, last one. Excellent. And then bring that towards you, you don't have to curl up, it's just me, I do. And we're going to get a nice stretch down the back of that leg. Brilliant. Take that leg down. If you can, take your arms above your head and I just want you to curl up. If you need to hold on, do so as you come up and sit nice and tall. Brilliant. So we're going to take it into the roll up. Again, if you haven't done this for a while or you know that you can't get from the floor, don't go to the floor. We're going to lengthen the legs, lower the armpits, tilt, bring that tailbone underneath you. Keep tilting, keep engaging through that centre and then take it down, breathing out as you do so. Now if this is as far as you can go, that's fine. If you can get it down to the floor, go there. Breathing in, breathe out as you come up, sitting nice and tall. And I just want you to sit up tall to start with. And again, going back, squeeze those glutes, send those tailbones towards your heels, lengthen those feet away from you. Good. So you shouldn't be using your shoulders at all during this. Use this, pull up through this as you come up. We're going to do one more. Breathing out, squeeze those glutes. Tilt, 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 tilt. Excellent. Good. And relax. Oh, I'm shaking here and I've been doing it. So I hope you're feeling all right. Brilliant. From here, we're going to bring those legs together and we are going to take it into rolling back. So we're going to look at our tummies, take our feet off the floor, tilt, really tilt, hold it to a point where you know that you can just about hold it. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Keep those armpits lower. Breathe in, breathe out. If you find this hard, two things to really focus on. Keep looking at your tummies and focus on that breathing. Let's do two more. Breathing in, breathe out. Last one. Excellent. Good and relax. Well done. From here, we're going to take our feet down and we're going to go back into neutral. Okay, and we're going to take our legs up one at a time into our tabletop position. 
We're going to take it into one leg stretch. So if again, if you haven't done this before for a long time, keep your head down. If you have, just lengthen the leg and take the leg that little bit higher and lengthen. Good. Excellent. So really lengthen that leg away. Lower those armpits as you do so. And you should just find and go lower. I can feel that. Good. So you can have your leg up in the air as you do it. So thinking about your engagement in the centre. Let's do one more. And if you've got your head down, that's absolutely fine. Let's take it down to the floor. Let's have a quick rest, re-engage and make sure you're in neutral. Let's bring those legs up again, one at a time. Good. Curl up if you want to. Take the hands onto the knees. Make sure you stay in that neutral. We're going to take it out and back. Good. And again, really lengthen. Now I'm taking my legs quite low. You can take them up here. Good. Let's do a few more. Lower those armpits. And again. Lovely. Squeeze those glutes as you take those legs away. Squeeze those inner thighs. Try not to take the arms too far back because that way you tend to open up that chest a bit too much. So if you find that hard, then let's do one more. Brilliant. Good. Well done. Hope it's feeling nice. Take the feet to the floor one at a time. Take the head down. Arms down by the sides. Get that neutral again. We're going to push the lower back into the mat. And we're going to peel the spine off the floor. I've started to engage my glutes. I'm engaged through my centre. I'm keeping my collarbone nice and open as I come back up. Bring my heels underneath me a bit more. Okay, so I'm here in breath at the top and I'm going to try and take each part of my spine back onto the mat. Lovely. Don't let this happen. Keep the collarbone nice and open. Back into neutral. And again, breathing out as you do so. Squeeze those glutes, pull up through that centre. Push the weight down through the feet and really draw up through that centre. Good. Keep that ribcage soft. So it's all about thinking about that technique and just... Focusing on what you're doing, not what you're about to do. Good, breathing out. Keep the collarbones nice and open, in breath at the top. Keep that rib catch. Imagine it's attached to that pelvis, so you're working all through here. And relax it down. Brilliant, well done. Take the arms out to the side, keep the legs bent, and you're just going to take the legs side to side, so you get a really nice stretch through that lower back. Oh, that's nice. Good. Keeping your shoulders on the floor as you do this so that you get your nice stretch in. Good. Lovely. Let's do two more because it feels so nice. Breathe it out. Excellent. Good. From there, if you can get up from the floor, do so. Take your legs away from you. Take your arms above your head. Make sure that again, this ribcage hasn't flared up, that you are working through that centre. You're going to breathe in, breathe out and come up and sit nice and tall. Okay, from there, we're going to flex your feet, take your arms here and we're just going to take it into a spine, prep, spine stretch forwards. Put your teeth in. Okay, draw back through that centre, look at those thighs and take it as far forward as you can. Really lengthen through those fingertips. Come back up, sit tall, sitting on those seat bones for me, lengthening through that spine. And again, pull back through that centre, take it forwards. Good. Excellent. And we're going to do one more. Pull back through the centre, take it forward. Good. Excellent. Lovely. I really hope that you've enjoyed that. Just a little... 10 minutes of Pilates just to get you back into your routine. But if you did this daily or three to five times a week, it would make a real, real difference to you, your body, your mind. So why not give yourself some time? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you've enjoyed this session, there are plenty more videos to look at on my channel. See you next time.